first conducting discharge education with a client newly diagnosed with Addison's disease. Which information should be included in the client and family teaching plan? Select all that apply. In this question, we do have a diagnosis of Addison's disease. So we will use the diagnosis, write three to five things you know about Addison's disease, and write three to five symptoms of Addison's disease. In order to answer this question, you have to know your core content. What is Addison's disease? Addison's disease is not enough steroid hormone, specifically cortisol and aldosterone, which is produced by the adrenal glands. Cortisol helps deal with stress and regulates the body's use of protein, fat, and carbohydrates. It maintains blood pressure and cardio function. Cortisol also controls inflammation. So in order to write down the symptoms of Addison's disease, you have to understand what Addison's disease is. The next thing you want to do is just write down three to five symptoms of Addison's disease. All right, um, some of them include dizziness, fainting, nausea, muscle weakness, decreased heart rate, decreased appetite, darkening of the skin. These are some of the symptoms of Addison's disease. I want you just to write down three to five. Quickly jot them down, whatever comes to mind. Once we understand the diagnosis, we write down some of the symptoms. Then we want to pay attention to the action. What is the question asking us to do? It's asking us, what is the action? What information should be included in the client and family teaching plan? Select all that apply. And the choices are as follows. Addison's disease will resolve over a few weeks, requiring no further treatment. Number two. Avoiding stress and maintaining a balanced lifestyle will minimize risk for exacerbations. Number three, fatigue, weakness, dizziness, and mood changes need to be reported to the physician. Number four, a medic alert bracelet should be worn. Number five, Family members need to be informed about the warning signals of adrenal crisis. Number six, dental work or surgery will require adjustment of daily medications. And the answer is all the above except for one. This is the rationale. The answer is two, three, four, five, and six. Addison's disease occurs when the client does not produce enough steroids from the adrenal cortex. Lifetime steroid replacement is needed. The client should be taught lifestyle management techniques to avoid stress and maintain rest periods. A bracelet should be worn and the family should be taught symptoms that would indicate an impending adrenal crisis such as fatigue, weakness, dizziness, or mood changes. Dental work, infections, and surgery will often require an adjustment dosage of steroids.